There's a reason I don't do unboxings. I'm a mess and I can't do it nice and pretty. It ends up looking like this. So instead, I'll do a very quick rundown of the 2021 Hobonichi Techo, Hobonichi Weeks, and a planner called Plotter, and a few other planner type things. That's a double-sided tape applicator. There's a few more stationary things like that coming up. I used to use the Traveler's notebooks as planners, but I ran into a few problems. I really like the overall size and the feel of it and the design. I also liked that I could use a stone bead as a dongle in keeping with inky rocks. And I like that you could attach your pen or pencil to the notebook. But both of those ended up being a problem. When you were using it, the rubber band would just kind of hang there and slap around the dongle when you were trying to write in it. It was the same with the clip. When you opened it up to write, you ended up writing over that bump that was the clip. And it was the same as where the rubber band was attached. You had to write over the little knot there which made a bump on the back of the paper. You could put all kinds of really cool stuff in the traveler's notebook like this little sleeve, the pen holder, I made special pockets, and then you also had this really cool zippered pouch which was just a giant bump to write over. So while I really enjoy and like the Traveler's Notebook, my main goal for a planner is to make sure it's easy to write in. And the way I do that is to keep all the gigaws and stationary items on the outside of the notebook instead of inside of it. I still use my Traveler's Notebooks as kind of scrapbooks and they're still fun to use it like that. This is one of the designs for 2021's Hobonichi Weeks. I like that it's compact and you only have a very small amount of room for each day and then you have a free page opposite of each week. That suits me the best. The design is a botanical drawing made by the father of Japanese botany, Tomitaro Makino. His biographical data is included in the package. Also included in the package is a kind of sticker that you can stick on a page or the covers in order to use it as a sleeve. After the calendar, there are 70 graph pages that are numbered. And of course, the whole thing is of Tomoa River, so you have 70 pages of Tomoa River to be able to play around with. I think the most useful thing as far as the information in the back is where you can measure the distance between your thumb and your forefinger and your pinky and your thumb and see how long that is and then use that as an approximate measure whenever you're out and about. One of the things that they were selling at Loft during their Hobonichi Fair were stajikis or writing mats that fit exactly into your Hobonichi. This one has today on the top so that it pops out. You can find your place really easy and then use it to write on. They had all kinds of designs, but hey, if you can't beat Batman, then you ought to beat Adam Boy. As I said earlier, I like to keep all my stationary stuff on the outside of the notebook, and I do it by using this. This is also sold by Hobonichi, and is specifically for the weeks. This is last year's model, but I like it enough, I'm going to use it again this year. Your weeks can fit on the inside or in an outside sleeve pocket, and then you can put all your stationary items inside of this bag. Here's a side pocket you can put your Hobonichi weeks in, as well as you can put it inside of the actual case itself. Since I'll be preparing next year's Hobonichi weeks, inside of this um, pouch I've got all the things that I'll need to set it up. That includes these cool Totoro stickers, in which you see like there's empty spaces inside of the sticker. That's what you can put over the top of the date. I'll show you later. Whenever you see these really teeny tiny stickers, they're mainly for planners. This particular one is supposed to measure your mood from really good on the rainbow on the left to cloudy and rainy on the right. 
I'm not going to use it for my mood. Instead, I'm going to use it for what the weather's like that day. Here's my setup inside of the pouch. I'm not one of those super artists that can really decorate their hobonichi. I kind of do the basics, washi tape and stickers. So I pull out my hobonichi weeks, find the spot where the month ends and the weeks start. I don't like using the month thing. And this little thing made by Kita is like washi tape tabs. You just peel it off and then stick wherever you want to put a tab on and then fold it over. It's a washi tape so it's removable but be real careful because I've torn a couple of pages trying to take it, take it off. Here I'm marking a birthday in my calendar and I'm using the friction pastel highlighters and just a, a ruler to kind of highlight that day. I'm using a flex pen to write in the name and I use pigment ink so it's waterproof. And then I'm using one of those little date stickers that are clear in the middle to put over the date itself. These are like roller stickers and this one is of onigiri or Japanese rice balls. So I use it for like when I have a lunch. And then you just roll it out and you got yourself a couple of little stickers there. Here's a close-up where I'm labeling Christmas and I'm using a pastel green friction highlighter. And since it's a friction, you can use it to kind of erase any mistakes or make designs in the highlighter. Birthdays, I use a flex pen and for other kind of holidays, I use a Pilot Parallel 1.5. This again is a pigment ink, so it's waterproof. And I'll use a Kiki sticker that looks like a wreath over the date itself. These sticker sets also come with these really long stickers. So I've got some paw prints to put underneath Christmas. As you can see, my planners are definitely not a work of art. It's basically just drawing lines, some stickers, and just a little bit of writing. If you're interested in seeing a walkthrough of the finished product, let me know in the comments. And hit that subscribe button if you find this video in any way interesting or helpful. You can also try hitting that bell there, that way you won't miss any of my videos. I also use the Hobonichi Techo, that's why I only need to use the weeks for my planner. It comes with a pretty extensive pamphlet that's written in both Japanese and English, and it talks about the different um, styles of Hobonichi and what you can do with them. It has a calendar of months and then the months by page and then kind of like the months like a wall calendar and then you finally get to the page for each day. After the last day there's a red dot grid for free use so you've got some more Tomoe River paper to play with. For 2020 they had an article about Japanese bentos and for 2021 They've got a, a little article about Japanese bread, and it's really cute. I've tried all these different breads except for the nori toast. I've never heard of that, but everything else I've tried. I might do a video of me running around <laughs> tasting these different kinds of bread. I use the Techo daily to track health markers like my blood pressure and weight in my exercise program. Along with, at the end of the day, I write down three things that I'm thankful for. So one page a day is just about right. Every year I keep a techo in this. It's a leather cover made by Oberon, but I could never find refills for it, so I use the techo instead. My daughter bought this for me when she was young, so I like to use it. It had a button, a metal button, along with a leather string to tie it around, but again, it got in the way, so I took those off. The only thing I need to do to prepare this for next year is just to cut blotter papers to fit it. I also tuck the months inside the end sleeve so I don't have to use them. Here I'll attempt a slight unboxing, <laughs> but this is called The Plotter. It's made by a company called Design Fill, and they do the Traveler's Notebook, Midori Paper, and also uh, Touch and Flow, which is an interesting lifestyle and stationery store here in Japan. 
Okay, I had opened it upside down, so yeah, my unboxing skills need some work. This is a slender leather six ring binder with a metal spine that's used as a planner, but I'm going to use it as a general ink testing book. This is an A5 size. It also comes in what they call a Bible size and a narrow size, which are approximately like a traveler's notebook and a mini size and a mini five ring. There's a lady I follow on Instagram and she likes to use it as a planner because most planners have the months all chonked up in the front and instead she puts in a page of the month then the week's pages after that and then a couple of um, blank pages and that's how she likes to arrange her planner. But I'm going to use this as a general journal and ink tester because of all the paper. The company made it so there's all kinds of paper that you can use in this system. You can use Noble Life paper, CD paper, Tomoa River paper, cotton paper, and in the paper that's supplied with the plotter system itself. I figured this would be a good way to kind of journal and also test my inks on different kinds of paper all in one notebook. I'm going to stick some of this paper inside my notebook and then show you also how I store it. My first page is what's called the to-do list. It comes in a stack and then you can just peel the pages out and stick them in. I figured it'd be nice to have on the top few pages. Plotter's two millimeter grid will help me out with calligraphy and some of my kanji practice. And then I have some Tomoa River paper to do some ink testing on. And this little contraption here holds all your extra different kinds of paper. And this is the Silky Smooth CD paper. This is Life's Noble Refill Cream paper. And this is Hagoduma's cotton paper. And in the very end, there's these things that you can put in that are like for little projects. You can put paper inside of it and then like label it. And as I said, I like to keep my gigaws on the outside. So this is Hobonichi's little pouch and the A5 fits perfectly in the side or inside or any other slender A5 notebook. This is called the Hikidashi Pochi and is made specifically to put stationary items in it. You can put things like pencils and pens and paper, or like little bits of paper, or a five size paper. And you can also put your phone in there, any small electronics. I believe they call this the drawer pouch on the English version of the Hobonichi Techo website. This is the small detail on the back side. And as I showed, it can fit easily in the side pocket and also inside the pouch itself. And any slender A5 will be able to do that. I basically have just washi tape and stickers. I can also put small bottles of ink in there and then I'll stick my different pens that I want to test out in my plotter. Here I'm testing out Kakimori's Voyager pigment ink on Tomoa River paper. I'll try it out later on other different kinds of paper, but the one paper they are missing is Graffilo. It would be nice if they had some Graffilo paper. I'll list the website for plotter in the description box. They don't ship outside of Japan, so you'll have to use Zen Market or some other proxy service. Amazon Japan also carries some of their stuff and sometimes they'll ship that outside of Japan. Let me know in the comments if you wanna check out how things work out for me in my planner system, both the Hobonichi Techo, the Weeks, and the Plotter.